Audiobook Academy Biography Presents. St. Lauder. In 1946, St. Lauder established her own cosmetics firm. St. Lauder, MAC Cosmetics, and Clinique are just a few of the brands she has built a successful business on. St. Lauder was an American entrepreneur and businesswoman who founded a cosmetics company with the help of a skin cream her uncle, a chemist, had invented. St. Lauder founded St. Lauder Cosmetics Incorporated in 1946 after years of selling goods on her own. Her Youth Do Beauty Oil, released in 1953, was a huge hit, catapulting her brand to new heights of fame. Lauder became the world's richest self-made woman as a result of her marketing innovations, which were on par with the quality of her cosmetics. Early Years Josephine Esther Menzer, the mother of St. Lauder, was born in Queens, New York. It's common knowledge that she was born on July 1, 1908, however there's considerable debate about whether she was actually born in 1906 or 1908. Her father was Czech, and her mother was Hungarian, so she was born into a Jewish family. When Lauder was a child, she exhibited an interest in the beauty industry. She enjoyed applying treatments to her mother's face and brushing her long hair. Lauder eventually learned how to make her own cosmetics from her chemical uncle. It was when she was just 14 that she began selling her wares in the local hair salons. Free samples were given out by Lauder, who branded her products as Jars of Hope. When Joseph H. Lauder, later Lauder, married her in 1930, she became the wife of a garment industry tycoon named Lauder. Leonard, their son, was born in 1933, the year the couple had their first child together. Lauder didn't let parenthood hold her down in the development of her cosmetics business. Her husband and she divorced in 1939, three years later, they remarried. Ronald was born in 1944, the year after Lauder gave birth to their second child. St. Lauder Cosmetics Incorporated. In 1946, after years of running her own cosmetics company, St. Lauder officially established the company that retains her name to this day. When they started out, it was just her and her husband running the business, and they only had a few things to sell. Using the kitchen of a previous restaurant, they were also able to produce these goods. Lauder's career took off the next year. Her cosmetics were purchased by a department shop for the first time. Saks Fifth Avenue placed an order for $800 worth of her goods, which were all gone in less than two days. During this period, Lauder also started the habit of offering a free gift with every transaction. Launched in 1953 by Lauder, Youth Dew was her first product. Because it also worked as a perfume, this bath oil was an instant hit with customers. After that decade, the company grew even more, launching Aramis, a men's goods line, and Clinique, a cosmetics brand. Subsequent career. Lauder rose to the status as one of the world's wealthiest women by sheer determination and hard work. The likes of Nancy Reagan's parties were regular occurrences for her. Aside from the Duchess of Windsor and the actress Grace Kelly, also known as Princess Grace of Monaco, Lauder maintained cordial ties with other notable royals, including Wallace Simpson. As of 1973, Lauder's involvement in the company's daily operations had been significantly decreased. She stepped down as president of the corporation, but retained her position as chairman of the board of directors. Leonard, her eldest child, became control of the family business. In 1983, Lauder was bereaved by the death of her beloved Joseph. This institute was created in his honor at Penn State as the Joseph H. Lauder Institute for Management and International Studies. St. A Success Story, Lauder's 1985 autobiography, chronicled her rise to fame and fortune. A longtime family business, Lauder's firm went public in 1995 after years of secrecy. The company had a market capitalization of almost $2 billion at the time. As she aged, Lauder focused more and more of her energy on charity endeavors. April 24, 2004 was the day of her death in New York City, where she had been living. After her death, the enterprise she founded remains in her family. Her oldest son, Leonard, is the chairman emeritus of the St. Lauder Companies, her younger son, Ronald, is the chairman of Clinique Laboratories, LLC, and her grandson, William Lauder, is the executive chairman of the company. Thank you for listening in Audiobook Academy. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button for more content like this. See you in next video.